What's going on guys, James here to bring you another video, and in this one I'll be doing my trailer breakdown slash review. I already did my live reaction when the trailer first got uploaded, so this one I'll be breaking down the trailer and giving my thoughts on what I thought of it. I kind of did that already like briefly in the other, in my reaction, but this one I'll be going through the trailer and looking at it and saying like what we missed and what not. This will be my first time doing this for this channel, so let's get right to it. I already have the trailer pulled up, and um, there won't be sound for this one. These will just be going through it, so let's start off. Now, in the beginning, it opens up with the door, and it opens up with um, Rick talking to Negan. Then it jumps right to Maggie holding a baby. Now, we don't know if that's her baby or if it's um, um, the one that Rick saved way back in Season 8. Or, yeah, the beginning of Season 8. Now, if it's the one way back in the beginning of Season 8, it should have aged along with, like, Judith and the other kids that are still alive. I, I, I think right now that it's, um, um, Herschel, Herschel, her, ba her baby, that's what she names her baby in the comic. I think it's her baby. Next, we got Michonne and somebody else. I think that was Rick in the trailer, but it's talking about building the uh, communities up and we got some a scene of the uh, hilltop and Rick and Michonne riding to the hilltop along with Daryl in the front on his motorcycle and we got a scene of some walkers then we got Sank the, the um, saviors talking to Rick and that scene where he says bless you that Rick, Rick Grimes Then we got Rick going to the headquarters. We have the uh, scene in the uh, Capitol building um, where they're pulling down that uh, the horse and buggy. Carol and Ezekiel. I, I love Carol's new look, by the way. Um, yeah, the, they're walking in the Capitol on top of a bunch of walkers. More shots of walkers. There's a uh, there's a bunch of hints at the whispers in this trailer. I'm telling you. Then we get it's a blurred shot. Scene goes to black. And more Rick at the headquarters. More headquarters. Daryl fighting that one guy. Maggie back at the hilltop. Jerry kissing that one chick that was with um. That was like in second in command with Ezekiel. They're all fighting that guy again. They're all throwing that um, crowbar at the walker on his motorcycle. And we got Rick, um, Father Gabriel, like two new people, and I think it's Maggie fighting that group of walkers. Now I think these are the walkers that take out Rick. If we see, up, remember in that um. Um, checking the time. I work in a few minutes. We. Uh, this is. I'm doing this right before work, so I don't. I don't know if this will be uploaded before work or this will be uploaded after work. So I'm doing this real quick now. So um, I think these are the walkers that are fighting. That that are gonna take out Rick, from the pictures we got. Then we got Henry taking out that guy that Carol pointed the gun at. Then we got Rick and Michonne talking to each other. screen goes to black again and Carol pointing the gun at that guy when she said she wanted to uh, she now she's talking to Rick saying that she wanted to uh, end him then we got that looks like Rick's boots and they're like all bloodied up I know they're Rick's because um there's like blood dripping down that because we've seen his boots before and he doesn't change his shoes and we got Daryl sharpening his knife at the headquarters again Yeah, Daryl sharpening his knife at the headquarters. Negan in his cell, talking to Rick. Then this ball. Then we got them walking onto the bridge. Then we got, I think that's Magna, our first shot of Magna when they, she takes off the bucket 
and then there's a walker layer. I think that is Magna, where it could be Alpha. Uh, they said Alpha's actress was blonde. I think this is Magna. Because Alpha's a a actress is a blonde, so that's Magna. Then they're inside a dark building. They all have their flashlights out. Then Eugene with a new hat on. I don't know if he's got his mullet, but it's, he probably does. And I think that's Jesus in the background, or a couple of new characters, too. And they're looking at the, the, the X that I was saying on the trailer with the walker on it that, that, that I think Magna put the walker on. And we got the more capital scenes with Daryl and uh, Sydney in the back. And, and TV's number one drama. Then we got Rick in the field with somebody else with the walker with the heads on the post. We got Daryl and Carol sitting next to each other. Daryl and Carol romance. We got all of them together, like a bunch of random characters, and then Carol, and um, I, that that guy that's starting to like Maggie, and that that is starting to like Maggie at the end of last season, with all their guns getting ready to pull out. Yep, pulling the guns out. And we got the helicopter and Maggie looking at the helicopter. And we got Daryl and Rick on the motorcycle. Bromance. And then a shot, a shot, like an air shot of them on the motorcycle. And we got some random people again. Some new people, new random people. There's a lot of new characters in this season. Like, more characters than we thought there was to be speculating about. More characters. I think these are the saviors that they were talking about with the conflict. Um, a random dark room with another character. Then there's a herd of walkers again. Oh, and then there's the fight scene where it's the Sabres versus, like, all the other people. And there's the Walkers. I think that's the Walker herd, that, again, that takes out Rick, that they keep showing. And then somebody's pointing their gun at somebody. And then somebody get getting attacked by Walker. I think that's Gregory. It looks like Gregory to me. Then my show and take out walkers with their sword in that field. Just going ham on them walkers. And then Rick talking to Negan in a cell again when he asks if you always like being in charge. And then there's my show and holding up Lucille. At least that's what it looks like. And then it cuts to that. And then it's the, those scenes where um, it's Magna's group. Everybody knows it's Magna because she's not blonde. And they said it's even Magna because there's that that um, Connie, it's, uh, Connie, she's deaf now, and um, the, yeah, it's Magna's group, and Father Gabriel's talking to them. They're the the part with the Whispers group. I don't know why they're not like Whispers. And now we see Magna was like captured by them because she had the hood on her head. At, and when they do the real quick scenes at the end of the trailer, and she's like breaking into places. That that's probably why they captured her because they were breaking in. She was breaking into some of the places that, like either the hilltop or either at Alexandria or in between that like at the sanctuary or someplace. And October 7th is our premiere date. Uh, just looking at the time again. October 7th is our premiere date. Then we got what I think is Magna and that one uh, fat dude, the other, that new fat dude from the uh, Magna's group running away from that herd of walkers that we saw at the end of the trailer, which again might be the Whisperers group, or at the same time I think it is the Whisperers group, and I think it's the one group of walkers that's going to take out Rick, because they say that Rick gets taken out by a group of walkers. So, um, yeah, um, there you have it. That was me breaking down the uh, trailer for The Walking Dead. Now, I loved this trailer. It's up there with, like, the Season 5 trailer for me. Um, that I like season eight too, but it's up there for season. If you hear people, it's because I'm doing this at like five o'clock, so there are people walking around still, five p.m. in the afternoon. So um, that's why not at night when I usually do this. I'm doing this right before work, like I said. So this will probably be uploaded right after I get home from work. Um, so um, yeah, um, I like this trailer. Five out of five. Can't wait to see what they do with um, 
Rick Grimes' story because Angela Kang said that um, it's she's got a great story in, in mind for him, and Rick Grimes did say that this is confirmed for his last season. He's not coming back. Um, and Daryl just recently said in, at the Comic-Con panel that he isn't taking over as the show main character, so I'll probably do a video about that. And, um, yeah, I just have to say, like, yeah, this is a great trailer. I can't wait to see what season 10 holds, and they did bring in the Whispers for this season. Like, nobody thought they would, so, um, can't wait to see what the Whispers, like, I wonder if they'll be as violent as they were in the comics. So, um, I'm gonna end it there. We're at the uh, almost 11-minute mark. So, um, yeah, this is James saying, if you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe. And this is James saying... Peace. Oh, yeah.